you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title, and you clicked on the video. So let's just get right into it. My subject today is fasting. Why don't more people do it? Why don't you hear more about it? Well, one thing is, it's free. So nobody can sell you anything about fasting. You just learn the information and do it on your own. Uh, or with guidance, of course, if you have medical issues. But I'll just tell you a little bit about my experience and why I just decided to do this. Again, I've been fasting for years. I just gotten out of the habit and I'm getting back to it. Sort of like I got out of meditation and I'm getting back into it to improve my health. So we'll start with my motivation. I'm uh, nearly 200 pounds, I'm six foot tall, and I just don't feel comfortable at 200 pounds. I felt really good at 190, 180, I felt a lot better. So my goal is to get to 180 and no muffin top. So I'll be starting out pretty simple. I'm gonna have a three day fast uh, just on coconut milk. I happen to be here in Thailand at the time and coconut milk is like 50 cent. They get a coconut that they have uh, sitting on ice. They cut it open for you. You drink straight out of the coconut. Tastes great. I hear all great things about the electrolytes and everything else. So if I'm gonna use just a water fast or diet for three days, I think that'd be a great way to start. I may go for more than three days depending on how I feel. Um, We'll see. I will continue to lift weights three or four times a week and continue to do cardio three or four times a week. The cardio will prob primarily consist of being able to take long walks on these beautiful beaches. I have fasted before, mostly while I was in the church, and it would be uh, a one day break of lunch and dinner, then we just have dinner on Wednesdays. But mostly I would do three day fasts on my own uh, whenever I felt like it was a good time to do so and I have gone up to seven day fast. During those days in the past when I did fast, I got most of my information from the Bible and from Dick Gregory, following them a little bit on um, just how to uh, fast to get mental clarity. Um, and one time I did uh, fast specifically to lose weight and it worked. Uh, but if I don't continue my habits, then uh, weight comes back. So this is the main thing about fasting am going to be doing more than just a quick three-day fast i'm going to be doing intermittent fasting and i'll explain a little bit about how i plan to do that i discovered dr jason fong on the internet on youtube look him up he has some great information to share with you i'm giving you only a tiny piece of what i got from him basically is nobody makes money from fasting so that's why nobody's trying to sell it to you as a good idea although it's been thousands of years that people have been using fasting to help maintain their weight. Actually, in the 70s, and most of us who can remember back that far, like me growing up, in the 70s, we didn't snack nearly as much as we do now. And that has become the real problem, I believe, with the obesity in America. Again, this is my opinion. I'm not a doctor. I'm just talking to you. So the way I see it, intermittent fasting is just an opportunity to give your body a break. If we're snacking, constantly eating something all the time, our body's constantly working on digesting, and also we are putting in a lot more calories than they, uh, we actually need in the first place. And that's kind of why it's hard if we got into those habits that we didn't have before, like in the 70s. In the 70s, everybody ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner, basically and there wasn't nearly as much snacking, okay? We got occasional Lay's potato chips, but it wasn't nearly as bad as it is now when I got Snickers and Reese's and everything right at the counter. It's so hard for me to just walk by those Snickers and those Reese's at the counter. So a note to you for my three and five day fasting, uh, up to seven day fasting. The hunger isn't the real hard problem. I mean, you get over it because you have the discipline of mind to just simply say, I'm not gonna eat right now because you have a goal in mind and that's what you're working towards. The problem comes in with fasting when you're really fasting or just having a water diet is social. You are around other people who are eating. Um, they look at you funny if you don't eat as well as they do. Uh, a lot of wives will really get upset when they see their husbands not eating when they're eating because they want him to be like alone with them and everything. But it's not really necessary. You just have to explain what you're doing and things can work out quite well. And you may even motivate someone else to do what you're doing. 
but mostly I generally try to avoid explaining what I'm doing because people get the idea that I'm trying to tell them how to live their lives or that I'm better than them in some way because I'm doing something they're not doing. And again, that's what I mean by social. Most of the problem is social. And we get these bombarded with television ads about food all the time. Here's a few things that I do to deal with that. I don't deal with it. I just simply say no thank you. And most of the time, that takes care of everything. Most of the time, what you're thinking in your mind is way over what other people are thinking when they're looking at you. So just don't worry about it so much with the social part. Um, if anybody asks you, say, I'm just taking a little break from eating or I just don't want to eat right now. Something like that, very simple and keep moving and people will move on. Things can also get a little bit touchy when you talk about uh, going out social, drinking in particular, because you know, drinking is a part of, no, I'm fasting, I'm not drinking alcohol. So what I do in those cases is I may just simply say, can I have a uh, club soda or something of that line? And it looks like a drink, drop a lime in it, sipping with everybody else, everybody's happy. You don't look like you're the oddball out, you can toast and everything else. What I remember most about doing an actual fast of three days, five days, seven days, whatever, the main thing that I remember about that is, wow, freedom, time, mostly time, because I'm not spending time preparing food, eating food, and cleaning up after eating food. And just the idea of not having to schedule your life around eating, it kind of is liberating, to be absolutely honest with you. Um, and. I'm in the second day of my first uh, three day fast, getting back on the wagon of actually fasting. And I feel great. I mean, there was always these moments of hunger. It's usually at the time that I would normally eat. Generally, uh, that breakfast time, I would always have a breakfast and or a protein shake or something like that. Uh, then at lunchtime, it's like, oh, it's time to eat lunch. So your body says, okay, it's time to eat lunch and your juices start flowing and everything, but you don't have to listen to that or you just simply say, yeah, I acknowledge that I'm hungry right now, but you start doing other things and in about 10 to 15 minutes, most of the time for me, maybe a half an hour, sometimes the hunger sensation completely goes away and I'm fine. But the main thing that I really kind of want to reiterate is the saving of the time uh, um, and, uh, and consequently the saving of a little money from not eating meals you really don't need to eat in the first place. Although, yeah, when I move into intermittent fasting, what I'll just simply do is eat within a certain time window. I'll eat probably the same foods. I'll probably still have my Snickers bar every now and then whenever I'm in that window. Uh, definitely uh, peanut butter, nuts, things like that, that are generally, you can't just have too much of them but I can still have all of that. I can even have cake, whatever, during the intermittent fasting. The thing is to give your body a time span to rest away from worrying about digestion and to temp keep you from being tempted to overeat at any particular time. So this video is just to talk a little bit about what I'm doing um, and to give myself an accountability uh, to myself. I have set up um, a accountability partner to go through this with and we'll be uh, contacting each other periodically and saying, hey, how's it going? And I think that's one of the best things that you can possibly do if you decide to change a habit and you want to really be accountable so you can really motivate yourself to actually change. And especially with an accountability partner, to be honest with you, it's a lot easier. Uh, just having somebody to uh, kind of monitor your uh, progress and monitor your uh, motivation to stay on goal, stay on task, stay on target, get it done. And once you get a certain lifestyle change, as you may have noticed, whenever you change a certain habit or whatever in your lifestyle, um, after so many days or, or so many hours of doing whatever you're doing, it, it just becomes a habit and just becomes a part of your day. Just like eating too much became a part of our day. Uh, having snacks in between every meal, having late night uh, snacks. That was my problem. I would like to watch TV or whatever late night. And every time I hit the butt or whatever, I will get the buzz. Uh, and every time when I hit a joint or whatever, I will get those hunger things that everybody knows we get. When you get a little high, you get hungry. So you want to snack. Um, I was trying to be smart about it and snacking things that I thought were healthier, but it's when you get a lot of too many fruits and too many juices and those odd hours, it breaks up your 
time frame that your body needs to really get a rest away from eating. So I'm gonna try to cut that out or I'm just gonna shift my time frame that I eat. I'm going to try to go for our uh, eight hour time frame window of eating and 16 of not eating anything. Uh, and that's why I'll continue doing things like coconut milk or whatever if I have uh, a, a need or if they feel like it. Uh, also, I want to stay very well hydrated and I hear coconut milk is excellent with electrolytes and other things to really that are really nourish your body. Uh, so I'm going to try doing that. Um, let's see how that works out. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm just giving you my introduction. Um, I'm going to take some before and after pictures, uh, things like that. If you are interested, let me know in the comments. If you have any uh, questions or concerns about fasting, and if you think I'm absolutely nuts, tell me. Uh, I know my own family members, some of them said, well, why are you fasting? Your body goes into this state and all this other thing. Look up Dr. Jason Fong's um, YouTube channel and you listen to what he's talking about on science-based studies. Really, most everything that those people complained about or my friends or people concerned about my health complained about or were concerned about was not really true. And it hasn't been my experience, to be honest with you, because when I fast, I generally feel a lot better. Um, and when I eat less food, my body generally feels better. I don't pack on more pounds. And as far as putting weight back on because of fasting, if you change your habits and develop a different mindset on eating, the weight won't come back on that way. It just doesn't, it just won't. Um, you talk to anybody that's done intermittent fasting for a year or more, and they all tell me the same thing. If they actually follow it, they don't regain all this weight because you really just change your habits. So that's it for this video. If you have any comments, you have any questions please leave them i'm glad to answer them and again i am not a doctor i'm just a guy who uh had to make a video on a specific subject so i figured i'd do this one since this is something that i'm doing right now my other videos are going to primarily be about travel and such but this one is going to be a little bit about my life journey and getting myself back into a state where i feel healthy and happy with my own body. I hope to motivate you to do the same thing, just like I hope to motivate you to get off the sofa and travel and, and enjoy your life. I hope to motivate you to recognize that you have the ability to control your health a lot more than you think you do. Just change the window of time when you eat food from all day, all our waking hours, down to an eight hour window. Not necessarily adding a lot of more workouts and things like that. Uh, most people that I know of get a lot better with just walking, drinking more water, and not eating so much, especially in odd hours. Good luck with your journey. This is a little bit about my journey. I'll see you in the next video.